We're at the Janeway. Uh, with me right now is Jeff Pike, who is the uh, director of the radiology department here at the Janeway. And Jeff, what was the important discovery uh, that was made 100 years ago that we've been alluding to? A hundred years ago today, we are celebrating the discovery of X-ray. Uh, a German physicist, uh, Wilhelm Rankin, was the discoverer of X-ray. Okay, and we've got his uh, picture right here now, and Tony's going to go down on that. Uh, Dr. Rankin, the uh, first X-ray is a, uh, a picture uh, taken of uh, his wife's hand. Okay, so what, what's been the development of X-ray technology since 100 years ago? In the early days, X-rays were somewhat photographic. Uh, pictures were taken mainly of bones and skeletal systems. Today, we're much more advanced and we're taking pictures of soft tissue, example, the brain, still using X-rays. With machines like this one behind CT me, this, scanner. this is a CT scanner, and this is the gentleman who operates the CT scanner. His name is Bruce Whalen. Uh, Bruce, tell me, how does this piece of equipment work? Well, as showed earlier, uh, Carl, when you were in there, uh, you're, you were moving out. There's an X-ray tube inside this box called a gantry, and as you were moving out, we were taking pictures, almost like slicing bread. And these pictures then are, are put on a monitor for a radiologist to make a diagnosis. And how much would a piece of equipment like this cost? Uh, this is a piece of equipment maybe in a $1 million range. And how many do you have here at the Janeway? Uh, we only have one, Carl. I'm sorry. <laughs> Somehow I knew you were going to yeah, say that. Right. Okay, now I want to turn to Carol Ann McNeil. And Carol Ann is a director of the Canadian Association of Radiation Technologists. And uh, Carol Ann, uh, I know uh, members of your association perform many different jobs. Just briefly tell me what they are. Besides the uh, X-ray technologist who performs your regular everyday X-rays, you also have your medical radiation therapists who perform the uh, radiation treatments on cancer patients and nuclear medicine technologists. And, and you we have, have about 266 members in Newfoundland. Great. Okay. And uh, congratulations to them uh, because this is their week.